Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to my vlog and welcome to the denture and the last. Never mind, let me start this over again. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my dentures and vlog video. As my little camera's trying to assist as much as I can, I don't know how this camera's gonna work. Let me uh, focus my face, all right? I don't know about my glasses or tin, but today I am gonna do my dentures and the vlog video. So here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to my last denture and vlog video. And I uh, just want to go ahead and give you guys an update. I do have my new dentures update and my new glasses update. So let's get into the video. So enjoy this little intro I put together. So here we go. Take it away. All right, welcome back everybody. So right now we're by the coffee shop right now i do want to do like a little bit of vlog this is the last time we wearing these glasses and i know this one so i gave it a little chance in the video to lighten up the uh, the tinting of my glasses so it's pretty good pretty lit see this these are my uh first dentures but you'll see compare side by side in a few minutes and then at the end of the video, you will see me with another round of vlogs after the GoPro uh, footage vlogs in front. And then you're gonna see the new transition of my new glasses and my new dentures right now. So here we go. Technically, I'm not putting them on. I'm just um, going to show you guys the comparison between my first dentures, the temporary dentures, and the permanent dentures. Um, which I actually got them uh, done not very long ago down there at West Coast Dental in LA. So they've been really good to me. It's been five years of, uh, of a heck of a ride. Uh, finally getting to have some beautiful teeth. Like now they kind of look really natural, huh? Yeah, you can't really see, but once you see the comparison of the other dentures, and then that will be awesome. So, all right, well, here we go, and I'll show you guys the uh, the comparison. All right, give me guys compare which one are the new permanent dentures and which one are the temporary dentures. So if you put them side by side, you can tell a little bit of the difference. So there is a big difference. So this is the temporary, the immediate dentures. Then these are the permanent dentures. So yeah, if you look right here, I don't know if you all can see that. So yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty awesome. And I uh, got a little wear and tear for numerous adjustments. They adjust at least about like 19 times on these, so just to get them a little bit more easier, try to clean them up the best I can. So these are the temporary immediate dentures when I have them on. So you can see they're still quite mint to condition. So it's pretty cool. So we're gonna put those in here, which you already seen. Now you get to see the new permanent dentures, which you saw these earlier. Compare side by side. Look, these are more flawless. They've only been worn a couple times, but when I put these on, you'll see the uh, the big difference. So yeah, and you see right here. And again, they lined this one time, so it was a clean slate for the first time. Not no numerous adjustments. So yeah. Uh, they did the three phases. One they molded the whole dentures. Then the second one was the uh, teeth, which they kinda look goofy looking until they put the uh, the uh, the glaze layer on them. So yeah. 
that's the comparison of my new dentures. So I'll try to do the best. Try to do a little mixture with the light and the shade in here. And portioning out the temporary dentures. These are temporary dentures that you're seeing right now. Those are temporary dentures. And then these are the permanent ones right here. That you're seeing that now. That's pretty awesome. So pretty much I use this just to keep my dentures in but also clean them in there too. So what I usually do is you put my dentures in here. Try not to break them. These rolling pair I have. I'm going to use these for eating. So so the new ones I'm about to put on me is just for vents and stuff too. So yeah. And I usually put like one of these little tablets in. Like the polyester ones. Like these right here. You put one of those little drop put drops in there with hot water, leave for 15 minutes or all the night, and then your dentures should be clean. Just wipe them down, and then after that, yeah. So the glue we're gonna go with this is this is this is the one, and I really like this one. You do get some ghoul and stuff down there, but I haven't experienced any uh, symptoms or anything since I've been swallowing it down and stuff a lot. So. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and put this on and I'll show you my new ones. But before then, I'm going to show you my old glasses before I transition over to the new ones. Look at that. I know, Facebook have the new Ray-Bans. I'm about to check them out. But these are my old Ray-Bans. These are my, like, my second pair of glasses I ever owned. Uh, I really miss them, but hopefully my newer pairs will be Ray-Bans. So hopefully that will be good. So uh, yeah, they're transition lenses, and uh, yeah, they do pretty good. And then this is what the inside looks like. Then I get to see normally. So that's what my eyesight looks like. Uh, maybe I'll let you see that. But yeah, it has the pink lining and everything in there. And it's pretty much lit. So this is what what I look like without my dentures right now. So I look like an old grandma. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And now, here's the feature of the new glasses, and then here's the feature of the glasses and the dentures. So, here we go. Alright, there are my new glasses. I've been waiting. It's been years. I haven't worn them yet. i only worn them once so far. But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it has uh, diamonds in there, so yeah. And um, these will be my occasional... Um, they uh, run on back in Vegas and stuff too, but I, I did use these in the poker table, so that's not bad at all. They actually thought these were cameras, but the Ray-Bans, the one I want, um, they're like these, but they had cameras on the side, like right up here. So yeah, it's pretty awesome, and um, I know Apple's making them too, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to get my uh, prescription um, in there, so that would be pretty awesome, so yeah. And then this is what the camera looks like inside. So this is pretty much like the review of the camera. So, yeah, pretty awesome, it's pretty cool. But yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, how y'all like this dope uh, The Simpsons Halloween um, shirt? It glows in the dark. The Homer Simpson one, uh, the skeleton one, he also was in the dark too so i was in the dark area earlier so i did saw all this so you can hear the tone of my voice now so welcome to my new glasses and my new dentures so hopefully there's a big jumps in between vlogs i'm still trying to get used to these but when i bite down they feel more comfortable i tried it the hardest i could just to uh, make them a clean slate so they don't have to do a lot of adjustments like they did with the other ones. So yeah, see, look. I don't know, when I uh, got my first adjustments, um, it was a little bit awkward because it was like silly putty. And then when I got them in with the teeth, they did kind of look a little awkward. They looked like uh, one of those uh, Horror Nights uh, hillbilly teeth, pretty much. Be a lot, yeehaw, but yeah it's pretty good so yeah they did a really good job at them so yeah these are the complete set uh these are the permanent ones so 
Let's see, hold on. One for the pitcher. And then two for the video. But yeah, let me know. Um, let me know if I should this vlog in my new dentures. Um, that would be pretty cool. Um, try to do a little bit more of the little beach sceneries and a little bit of the GoPro, the one I have, because the GoPro is also going to be used in Disneyland. And the iPad Pro that you saw earlier, uh, hopefully you might enjoy that as well too. Um, the teeth do kind of feel a little awkward because they're supposed to be realistic teeth. Um, besides the implants, that's something I really want to do. But if I do, I want to have a lot more subscribers. I do appreciate the 523 subscribers. And I do appreciate some of the people that have been watching my dentures and vlog videos in the uh, past. So yeah, the first three days were like hell. Because like the first day was like, they literally like extract all my teeth, 20 needles. And then my mouth was gushing out with the new dentures in there and I had to deal with them for the last five years but it, it wasn't like that but it took me about three weeks before I was able to eat uh, hard solid foods and I did saw someone's comment from like two weeks ago sorry I'm just slowly um, getting back into the vlogs and the vlogs are slowly kicking in but I still gotta do some door dashing and Uber Eats because that's like the only money I'll be able to upgrade. So I do have like a little circle of um, resources and equipments and stuff uh, on board right now. So if I need any more cameras like drone footage or whatever, yeah, I might need a second person on that. So yeah, um, to help me out with a little bit of the cinematics and stuff too, or those who are familiar with my videos that gets a kind of like an idea how easy you know do my vlogs or something yeah let me know because uh let me know if i should do more of the las vegas hotels like in la well it's not very much except for this building right here i got to stay there but um if you do let me know because um if i ever get like a thousand subscribers and a little bit more we can actually review the hotel because it's actually like a one bedroom apartment but you have to share the restroom so yeah and they have all the varieties of restaurants around here i tried them all but i, I don't mind revisiting them too it just depends uh which one that you guys want me to visit so yeah and also uh there's theme park videos that you saw universal studios um i wish i would have taken halloween horror nights on there but you know as the harry potter uh i did couldn't barely see in the dark while I was filming, so I had to have full eye contact. Plus, it was my first Halloween Horror Night at Universal Studios. I know I've been there for so many years, but I went to Hoosville. was actually my first time in, I don't know, in my years when I first went to Universal Studios. And then uh, I've been like a frequent uh, pass holder for so long. Then I recently transitioned over to Disney. And then the pass got hiccup because of the pandemic. And then after the pandemic, um after my thousand deliveries that was my treat to universal studios after comparison with the door dashing and uber eats it was 2700 and i think it's 2900 now um it's treating me to the disney image key i would think about doing the dream key but i don't know it's a 20 percent discount and someone was working there was at the pod chair where i was at so yeah it was pretty cool pretty awesome but at least i get to find this dope scenery just nice little view back here and uh hopefully you guys really enjoyed this dental and uh last vlog video for this one because like you know i really do miss everybody and i know i try to do the best to update you guys as much as i can but sometime um you know my situation it's kind of like I'm still looking for a place. Places down here in LA is too expensive. Everything is like $2,000 and above. And I'm barely passing where I'm at just $1,000 a month right now. But, you know, I'm looking for roommates. I've been looking for rooms for rent. Uh, my income threshold cannot pass the thing. So my next step is to do casting jobs, um, probably theme parks, and also a little bit more higher jobs in um you know comparison to doordash and uber eats payout so 
you know, and that actually really uh, changed my life too. So it's just starting to turn out to uh, be a little bit of a better denture vlogs. Um, also, this is like the very first time for me talking to my glasses and this ever. So if you go back in my videos, you will never see me with my permanent dentures or my glasses. I usually have my uh, other ones on throughout the vlog. So this will be a new kicker for the vlog for the Knoxbury farm and other ones else too. I know the glasses are a little bit loose, so I'm not too for sure how it's going to do on some good rides. So that's why my other glasses are going to be a secondary uh, backup for like splash and everything. And plus they've been helping me out through this whole pandemic too. So I have to give up with the glasses and you know and the resources that i really needed because i was hoping um my channel would be picked up and it got discovered but um i guess the way uh, my character pretty much you know i just want to make my videos grow as you know as much as people as i approach and as much people i got to know and you know and like the subscribers you know i'm really close to them and hopefully uh you know, you guys be close to me too, too. Uh, so hopefully um, be able to subscribe and, you know, you'll be able to see a lot more um, awesome videos too. you also uh, be able to see more events like the Downtown Proud Festival, uh, Universal Studios. Upcoming videos will be the Disneyland, um, how it is after COVID and the Halloween things and also Knoxbury Scare Farm. And uh, yeah, looking really forward into the future, but I'm really want to look for more of a roommate situation and uh, also a little bit more cheaper places. So I'll be able to do more stuff like this and um, also collab with a lot of YouTubers. So since I'm slowly getting back up here and re-editing and everything else too, taking this whole day off, um, you know, putting those three vlogs up plus this one. So, uh, eventually, I bet you it got 10 likes already um, from one of the videos. So, that's, so, this video is already going up. So, happy morning on the 14th. So, yeah, uh, pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. Uh, do you appreciate you guys watching my dentures and vlog video? This is the last one. So, I know, unless there's somebody else down the road that can referral. And I could probably give you guys like more future updates when these gets a second round of adjustments and also a couple other um, stuff in my life, you know, that you guys want to see like hotels or going down, you know, uh, Hollywood Boulevard or Las Vegas Strip or checking out different sceneries like different convention centers or events or um you know things in general are like you know with life like you saw so there was a good portion of vlogs that had those com uh, combination mixtures that i usually like to do including the unboxing and the reviewing so yeah so this is practically the reviewing and the updates from the dentures and vlogs and i really do appreciate each and every one of you guys been watching my dentures and vlog videos and hopefully you guys can stick around for more vlogs that i do and if you guys do i really thank you and love you guys a lot and uh hopefully to see you guys in the future don't be afraid to message me but if i message you guys late like two three weeks or six year years down the road um that means i still saw your comment and i didn't have a chance to get to it but i do read people's comments and i do uh monitor other comments and the other videos were like it's more like live stream popping like with vegas or la so but yeah but disneyland's gonna be a whole nother twist but i'm ready for it because everything else is just like is just almost like a loop basically so basically it's like eat sleep and deliver so now i'm gonna do is have fun in my life um enjoy the benefits of my life you know making income hopefully i can find something better than delivering soon and also my life situation be a lot more better too so uh you know a job or a place or probably a theme park could turn my life around so uh you know i did kind of got the dust of universal city since it's been so long rode every ride um and that was pretty cool and 
got to catch up on a lot of things and got to saw Halloween Horror Nights and uh, yeah and I'll be doing a lot more of these events and yeah this is not the last time for me doing the vlogs but it is for the dentures um, and yeah and I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys 523 of you guys and even more if YouTube uh, been a bumpy and crazy ride ever since 2016 so you know that's where I lost income from from that point um, because I was making money off the ads but you know not making no money right now but I'm um, just doing this out of my time and and you know and let my friends around the world have how I'm doing and you know and letting them know I'm doing okay and uh, hopefully to see them you know probably over here in California or probably I might just take some random a uh, long tour of a road trip from LA to New York or something. So yeah, that would be pretty cool. And Miami, don't forget. I might be going to Florida just to check out the uh, Universal Studios in Florida and Disney just to see what's on the perspective side. But not, you can also watch the other vloggers like um, The Woo and a couple other um, vloggers like Tim Tracker and all them. So I'm pretty much in the mix with all the YouTubers. So you might see me in the comments. So you do just let me know and then maybe I might collab with them or they might want to collab with me or I don't know we might have something in common or something too so I'm a little bit shy but just work with me I'm really cool laid back funny and everything and um, I guess it's like this whole vlog thing yeah I'm never gonna shut up because I have my new glasses and my new dentures so I'm kind of happy and satisfied and it didn't took me that long to get used to them so I guess a little bit of the, uh, the polyester one I just showed you earlier. And uh, yeah, I think there might be a little bit of a tone voice might be changed or still the same, but I'm still adjusting to him and still getting used to him. If I need to work uh, a little bit more on this one. So yeah, so the next vlog is going to be the Knoxbury and Disney vlog coming up. So I got to make some room on the phone and I got to do some room on the GoPro and the iPad, so it's gonna take me the rest of the day to edit and also um, to upload the video, getting ready for tomorrow, uh, probably around like the 9 a.m. if I do an earlier one or just 12. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully see you guys at Disney and the Knoxbury Farm and I'll talk to you guys later. So I haven't done my last intro in the last three, four videos so stay healthy stay safe uh wear a face covering wherever the left of this was because i don't know it's been i had to get a new one because i might have a gouser now on because that's what the most popular thing the the vlogs are using so i might just start using that starting wednesday so all right well i'll talk to you later peace out guys oh wait a minute this is actually once in a lifetime thing hold on um so practically the one behind me right here um it's all these outdoor dining thing that's just in case if it doesn't never happen ever again so um you know because with the whole pandemic here in california you know because i know some cities took up on the uh, the patio on the streets and yeah it's pretty much like all the other vloggers have covered it but ever since the uh you know, California had more outdoor dining than anywhere else. And a lot of places had like indoor dining. So they pretty much took a street. They, uh, they put some trees and stuff, put some lights. And you know, they did it on the city sidewalk. So it's pretty awesome. We're seeing some more over there. And uh, once I get over here, just a little bit more where it's okay to film now. Um, I hope I didn't board everybody out during my whole vlog back here, but yeah, look at this. Look at how beautiful it looks like a freaking uh, greenhouse or something, right? And look, and all this is on the street. Oh, look, they're my other Tesla when we're turning around. Oh, do you see that Tesla? All right, check this out. Oh, look at this. And it's on the street, right there on the bike path, but yeah. It's pretty good, pretty awesome. But um, I really do appreciate everyone having watched my vlogs. And um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to head off for sure this time. And I'll 
talk to you guys in the next vlog. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys something. Shine this in light, you can see like crocheted on it. It's a limited edition of these glasses I had. And see, they're now tinted up. So that's pretty awesome, huh? Well, I do appreciate everyone at the West Coast Dental for taking care of me. Um, you know, make sure I ain't gonna die or anything on the table, but, <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, it's just, don't worry about that. It's just like, you'll be fine. Just, uh, think of happy thoughts and then you be like this. Be like in the Hollywood dreams with the sunshines and rainbows and palm trees and all we're missing is the ocean. But, yeah, we just got this little, uh, leather face uh, house, so we're about to enter. So, all right, well, I gotta go before he starts chasing me down the road. But yeah, I do want to appreciate that and appreciate Kaiser's with the glasses, the transitioning lens. So that's pretty much where I got my glasses at. But um, yeah, so hopefully things get a lot more better. And you know, seriously, I gotta head out, make uh, finish this video up, and then I gotta start doing some deliverings, probably like, you know, on the 13th as we speak as we speak this video has already done watching so you guys can't wait for knoxbury farm or disney huh i can't wait either <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna try to bring my gopro and ipad just to see how they work out and then also my phone so yeah i might be like <laughs> pretty as a techie freak for for the day at disneyland or knoxbury farm and at least gives me a couple angles to do some wonderful shots. This is actually the Angel Brewery right here. So, um, those that actually didn't know. So that was pretty cool. This is like one of the famous Los Angeles beers that they uh, brewed. I'm gonna have to check this place out one day. So it's pretty awesome. Pretty dope, pretty lit. And I know some, some people are also like, um, saying that with me so that's pretty awesome so all right i'll talk to you later peace out guys